Hi y'all, welcome back to Bam Glam DIY. So today, I want to teach you how to make a very high quality and high foaming car shampoo with lubricant. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. The quality of this end product is glossy, transparent, is viscous. It also has a high performance uh, ability and then it also has a very high dilution rate. You may be wondering what, what makes uh, a liquid detergent car shampoo and some persons do ask me, please Bam Glam, what is the difference between a dishwashing liquid and um, a normal car wash or a car shampoo? There is actually a whole lot of differences between these two products. Number one is your pH. The dishwashing liquid that you use for washing your plates, they are actually very alkaline and decreases. They are meant to strip oils, right? So you are not meant to use your dishwashing liquid that is meant to strip oils on your cars because it will strip out the oils on your paint and reduce the waxes that was used to polish your vehicle thereby reducing your shine, the shine of your vehicle and it may also fade your paint. Another major difference is between dishwashing liquid and car wash or car shampoo is the pH. The pH of car wash is always tend towards the neutral axis at least from 6.5 to 7.5 and upon dilution with water you should be having a pH of at least 7. Another thing is the dilution rate. The dilution rate like the one you are seeing me sample is 1 is to 100. At least from 1 is to 50 to 1 is to 100 is okay. It means that for each 1 ml, for each 10 ml of the car shampoo, if you dissolve it in about 1 liter of water, that's 1 is to 100. The solution should be very foamy, just like you see me sample now. I sampled 10 ml of the car shampoo that I produced in a 1 liter volume of water. And I mixed it all and you can see that the ladder properties were still there, very high foaming. And then while using it on the vehicle to wash, it will also create more ladder. The reason is because... The person that buys one liter of your car shampoo from you would want to use it for a very long range. So with this production, if you are buying at least a liter of it from somebody or you are selling a liter of it, the person should be able to use it at least 10 times in 10 liters of water with high foaming ability. You can do the math yourself and then you understand more. Then after washing with this car wash, you will still see that your car waxes and shines will still be remained on it. It won't strip out the oils from your vehicle and your vehicle will still have its shine and glow. So stay tuned. Let's make this soap. Thank you for following my channel and thank you for liking this video. By now you must have clicked the like buttons if you are actually interested in watching this video. And then please help me and also subscribe to my channel and share my video so that people will also get to know about my page. So welcome back to Bangalam DIY. So let's get straight into making of this car shampoo. So we'll be needing two foaming agents. I just used two. SLS rice which is in powdered foam it will act as my foam booster and then i'll be using the texapon gel which is s-l-e-s i'm using the grade of the n70 and i'll be using blue dye color to actually make this production the rest of the chemicals i'll be listing it as we proceed and also the quantities that i'll be using will also be displayed on the screen and also in the description box below this video so what i'm doing now is to combine salt i added 200 grams of salt into the texapon gel the texapon gel is 380 gram as it is well written on the screen texapon gel is actually very difficult to dissolve in water especially if the thickness of your texapon gel is very high the liquid texapon gel of n28 is very easier to dissolve in water but from n70 is actually difficult and then depending on the brand or the company you buy from 
there are some brands of texapon gel like the malaysian type that is very thick like petroleum jelly those ones take a very whole lot of time to dissolve but they give better texture remember most of the products you are using and you see sles at the back of it they are not all ma making use of the type you are buying from the market there are different qualities of the texapon gel in the market so the reason we are adding salt to it is to be able to make it to be able to dissolve in water as easily as possible that's why we first blended the texapon gel with salt please i hope you guys are understanding so after mixing it with salt i just transferred it into my bowl meanwhile i it get less i forget i'm making a four liters production so i started with adding in one liter of water gradually into the mixture of uh, foaming agent the primary foaming agent which is the texapon gel and then the salt and gradually mix it to form a slurry you don't rush in water a uh, high volume of water quickly if not you may lose lose out the dissolving part so just gradually adding the water and stir 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 before you know it it will actually dissolve and then you can proceed now what i did was to just use one liter of water for this my dilution and i set it aside now i'm adding in an extra one liter to complete it two liters of water like i said i'm making a total of four liters production bear that in mind so after adding the second one liter of water you can see the texture is already thick very very thick now let's go to the second foaming agent or the foaming booster we are using I'm making use of SLA, SLS rice. The reason I, I'm choosing this foaming agent is because I don't want to start, uh, I, I want to maintain my pH after my production. That's just it. I want it to be neutral. So I added one liter of water to it and then I'll stir and I'll set it aside so that it can dissolve. It may need at least five minutes to 10 minutes for your SLS rice to dissolve properly. Note. You can make use of any other foaming agent or surfactant blend or surfactant mist in your own area or the ones you can find in your own market. But bear in mind that after your production, try as much as possible to control your pH to fall between 6.5 to 7.5. And upon you making a dilution of it in water, you should be having a pH of 7. So after about 10 minutes, the SLS has actually dissolved. Why I mention this foaming agent stuff is so that you know that you can use other type of foaming agent, but be sure to control your pH. Now what I'm adding now is EDTA. I'm using disodium EDTA, which is acidic in nature. I'm using it to be able to help me to also control my pH as I stated. EDTA acts as a stabilizer. Sometimes you make your soap and you complain that your color fades the color white production after a, after a month it fades or you start seeing things like your fragrance not lasting and the rest of them and then apart from edta serving as a, a stabilizer is also a water softener if you want your foaming agent to actually foam well in any type of water at all you need a stabilizer you need edta there is no way around it you need edta it is there in mostly all the productions out there so try and buy it and incorporate it into your formulas and you see your product will be better than what it used to be remember you the water you are using it from your household is not the same water the person you are selling it to is using if the person is using a hard water that soap that is foaming in your in your house will not foam in that person's house now I added 5 ml of my fragrance, if you want to increase, no problem. And then for my preservative, I'm using methyl paraben. For my production, for to serve as preservative, please, if anybody told you that you don't need to add preservative when you are making liquid detergent, tell the person no. Please add preservative so that you preserve your color, your fragrance, and then the, the uh, production itself. Any production you are making that has water in it has to be preserved. Bear that in mind. Now I'm going to add in 5 ml of my dimethicone, which is the silicone oil. Silicone oil is used as lubricant. If you type in silicone oil for cars on Google, you will see it in form of, in different forms as sprays, as waxes. They are mostly used to shine your vehicle, shine your tires, shine your cars, every part of your vehicle. They come in, in they are very viscous 
in texture. It is also used in the cosmetic industries. You see it in your shampoos, you see it in your body creams and the rest of them. You also see it in your face cream. You see it in ma many cosmetic products. In case you turn the back of your shampoos and you see dimethicon or silicone oil, don't be scared. It is used in the cosmetic world. It is also used in the automa automobile world where they use it for making hydraulics and the rest of them and car shines and car shines and wa waxes car lubricants and waxes and car washes too so this is a uh, this is like another major difference between a car wash and your dishwashing liquid you need to introduce the lubricant into the production bear in mind that this dimethicon is an oil so when it comes in contact with the production it may get cloudy now Without this dimethicone, we might have actually made this production with a lesser quantity of texapone. But because of the presence of dimethicone, your primary surfactant, which is my SLES texapone gel, need to be increased in quantity. If not, I may have a cloudy outcome. So just follow the exact measurement I did and you will not have anything other than this outcome. Your outcome will be very clear, transparent, viscous and very glossy. Please also bear in mind that you need a preservative, I've mentioned it before. Once you have finished diluting everything that is water soluble into your SLS water, pour it in the way I did and that is all. And then I went in and added a, an extra 100 gram of salt. You can actually work in extra 100 gram of salt to this recipe or also extra 150 grams of salt into this recipe it will actually help to boost and texturize and add viscosity into this product so the extra 100 gram is to balance the equation so i'm using a total of 300 gram of salt to about 380 gram of texapon gel to get the thickness that i need another difference Sorry, another difference between dishwashing liquid and your car shampoo is concentration. The concentrations of the dishwashing liquid is actually, that's why I talked about the dilution rate. In car shampoos, they are made as liquid detergent that are in high concentrated form. That is why small drop of it can make a very high and stable foam ladder when dissolved inside water. So you need to reduce the water quantity you are using to make your car shampoo compared to when you are making your dishwashing liquid. In dishwashing liquid, making use of this formula, you may even extend this formula and make up to 8 liters of it and still have a little bit of vis uh, viscosity, not as much as this, but at least you can sell it out. I added extra 1 liter of water to complete it 4 liters of water. That's what I'm doing right now and then I added my blue color. So that is why this recipe is giving you only 4 liters. But the 4 liters is very concentrated that a little bit of it that the person you are using will give you a very good outcome. So the person buying this product from you wouldn't tell you that I bought a liter of car wash from you and I only use it to wash my car twice no it wouldn't happen or i use it to wash my car once it doesn't foam i ended up pouring everything that's you packing in plenty water into your production so work with this measurement the way it is i discounted water from this recipe so that i will have it as concentrated as possible this way you have something very clean beautiful nice and with a very good quality also note that the SLS foam, SLS rice that I used to, to make my foam booster, I added it to help to boost the foaming. You can also increase the quantity if you feel so. The 200 grams can be further extended if you have the luxury to apply up to or more than that. If you have the money to use more than that, please do. It will also help your ladder properties. Once you are done mixing everything together, just as I stated it on the screen with this procedure, set it aside overnight so that the bubbles can clear out and you have yourself a perfect soap. After our overnight waiting for the soap to clear out, this is the final outcome. 
you have your viscosity box checked you have your thickness checked you have your glossiness checked we'll still also do the ladder test to check how the power is and how the dilution rate is for now let's deal with the appearance the appearance is on a check of 100 the color is so sharp and beautiful and then the ph is also very balanced very very balanced the ph of this production is also ranging between the 6.5 to 7.5 can you see how beautiful this soap looks like ah i don't know how to explain it but the viscosity is everything this is how your store bought grade will actually be looking like after they make after you buy it from the from the supermarket so you can see on my channel you can actually make this on your own and bottle it and sell it and you can do it as a business if you want to go more into making of this particular product this car shampoo you may also research more about the different types of foaming agents or surfactants that you can use and then how you can control your ph to balance it up And it is also very glossy you can see it shining all the same we need to test do our dilution rates if you are work if you want your product to have a very high dilution rate reduce your water discount your water so that your soap will be very concentrated that's just a trick around it in case you are bothered about your dilution rate so this dilution rate, the one I will be sampling now is 10 ml into 1 liter. That is 1 is to 100. I'm actually trying to exaggerate this product to see if it can actually work at 1 is to 100. That's 10 ml is to 100. Some products that you buy out there in the supermarket may even be just 1 is to 70. That means 10 ml into 700, uh, sorry, 10 ml into 700 ml that means if the person is washing a very big car they, they will measure only seven liters of water and then they'll add about up to 100 ml of the soap you sell to them but what i'm doing now is a ratio that if you measure out only 100 ml of this liquid soap and measure out 10 liters of water in a bucket blend these two together you will have the same outcome as what you are seeing on my screen even you may even have a better outcome depending on the ph of the water from where you are fetching it from the ladder is amazing and it comes out very well we know that people who wash cars don't use brush they either use a very soft towel fiber towel or they use foam so that they don't end up scratching the the, the paint on the vehicles so you have a very lush the, the thing is that once the soap is foamy and has big large bubbles on it it registers in our brain and our mindset that it is very perfect and it is also high quality then the person that is using on the on the vehicle after each wash should be able to see that the car is actually shining and beautiful the person should not see his or her car color fading if not they won't come back to you again so this is the outcome in the beginning of this video i sampled where i used the soap to wash a car and then clean it out so you can go back to the beginning of this of this video to see where i actually used it on a vehicle thank you for watching the video to the end please like share and subscribe